On the Health Watch today, greasing your cognitive skills and wheels. In a new study, mice fed a diet enriched with extra virgin olive oil had better memories and learning abilities and better connections between brain cells compared with those who did not eat the olive oil. Dr. Malcolm Marshall is here. And doctor, does this mean that olive oil can protect against things like Alzheimer's and all that sort of stuff? Well, we sure hope so. I mean, in this study, these mice were actually engineered to develop Alzheimer's disease. And so it was the mice that had the extra virgin olive oil that had fewer changes consistent with Alzheimer's. So that was mm. really encouraging. Really now, of course, we don't really know exactly what it's going to do in humans. They sort of also want to figure out if it could possibly stop the progression of Alzheimer's or reverse it. But, you know, what, this is mounting evidence that olive oil is good for your health. So. Just good all the way around. So you start chugging olive oil? Or I, like well, maybe not chugging. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of calories in it, but sure. introducing it into your diet. Here's another one. If you see a loved one in pain, this is so fascinating. Your natural instinct is to reach out, hold their hand, and that might be providing more comfort than you think. Researchers found that when a woman is in pain and a loving partner holds her hand, her heart rate and breathing rate fall into sync and her pain actually subsides. This doesn't happen if the partner is sitting nearby but can't touch her. So do we know why this happens? It seems like it has something to do with the actual physical contact there. So it, it appears that it's not just physical touching. Okay. You just went through this with childbirth. Yes. And sort of figuring out thing. how to support your, your spouse. Mm -hmm. But um, not just physical touch because there has to be empathy. You can't just hold, do you mind if I touch you? Sure. Hold your hand. But like. <laughs> I feel great all of a sudden. <laughs> That's right. Nobody saw it. We're on video here. But I did hold his hand. But anyway, um, it, you have to actually feel her pain. You have to empathize with her. You can't just hold her hand and be like, la, 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 yeah, who cares? <laughs> um, because it's both. it's both, exactly. And we don't know why it happens, but as an example, if your spouse or your partner is giving birth and you don't know what to do, hold her hand and feel her pain. And feel the pain. That's right. It's not just the holding of the hand. You got it. All right, Dr. Malika Marshall, thank you very much. You're Lisa, welcome. over to you.